Going Beyond is a presentation of Beyond Housing, helping entire communities become better places to live with Rare Gem Productions. We're going beyond. Today on Going Beyond. On today's show, we're going to talk about an exciting, large, big, fun, back-to-school event for anybody living in the boundaries of the Normandy School District. So the name of the event is Normandy Strong and Beyond Housing Presents 24-1 Beyond the Backpack. So as the name presents, there are much more things beyond school supplies. We have a lot of people that's going to come out. We have vendors over 50 we've invited to share social services information, wellness exams for children, eye screening exams, giveaways. We're, of course, preparing students for back to school. So we will be providing free haircuts, free hairstyles, anything that may be a barrier to a child not attending school on the first day. We want to eliminate that barrier and so that they can be in school and ready for school on the first day. Today on the show to talk about this uh, exciting upcoming event is Miss Vicki Collier, the Director of Education for Beyond Housing. Beyond Housing is going beyond. That and more ahead today on Going Beyond with Chris Kramer. right after this. One thing could throw you completely off balance. I remember the day vividly, February 19th of this year, and uh, received, of course, news that no woman wants to hear cancer, knowing that it doesn't have to be a death sentence, but it is a very difficult diagnosis to hear. But it doesn't have to take you down. Take it on one piece at a time. Take five. For me, it was, it will always be prayer, and it will always be the support of family and friends. I did have tough days but they did not allow me to wallow in the pity. And when I would get at that point, they would say, okay, Stacey, let's just do it. You can do this. You are positive. We love you. God is able. He has seen you through this far, and he will not leave you alone. So for me, my peace rests in that. You can work it out. A setback is merely a setup for a comeback. Be determined to bounce back. Take care of your mental health just like you would anything else. Be alive and well. Find more ways to take five. Go to AliveAndWellSTL.com. Rare Gem Productions proudly presenting the positive. We're going beyond. Welcome to this edition of Going Beyond. I'm your host, Chris Kramer, President and CEO of Beyond Housing. On today's show, we're going to talk about an exciting, large, big, fun, back-to-school event for anybody living in the boundaries of the Normandy School District. Today on the show to talk about this exciting upcoming event is Ms. Vicki Collier, the Director of Education for Beyond Housing. Welcome to the show, Vicki. Thank you, Chris. Thanks for having me. We have something new this year. We've done back-to-school in the past, as do lots of other places all across the region, which is great for kids going, but we're doing a little something different this year. So describe to our listeners um, what we're trying to get done and how they may be able to participate. This year is going to be a collaboration with the Normandy Schools Collaborative and Beyond Housing and our 24-1 municipalities, which there are 24 municipalities that surrounds one school district. That's Normandy Schools Collaborative. This year is going to be bigger, better, and a lot of fun. The main focus of this is to have everyone join together to do this so that we can have a greater impact and service more children. So we're looking to serve at least 2,000 children for back to school and not only back to school. So the name of the event is Normandy Strong and Beyond Housing Presents 24-1 Beyond the Backpack. So as the name presents, there are much more things beyond school supplies. We have a lot of people that's going to come out. We have vendors over 50 we've invited to share social services information, wellness exams for children, eye screening exams, giveaways. We're, of course, preparing students for back to school. So we will be providing free haircuts free hairstyles, anything that may be a barrier to a child not attending school on the first day, we want to eliminate that barrier and so that they can be in school and ready for school on the first day. Wow, that's exciting. I mean, that's really the proverbial one-stop shopping for getting your child back to school. Now, do you have to exactly. be a student at the Normandy Schools Collaborative? No, we're doing this community-wide. So you have to be residing in the 24-1 municipalities, which surrounds that one school district. So if you live in the area... 
yes, you are part of this and we welcome you to come. One of the things that I know that you've tried to do with this is there was a lot of smaller little back to school things and that's absolutely fine that that was done that way. But we're trying to do, again, to serve 2,000 children, which is a pretty dynamic number. We want to bring everybody together at one location. Talk a little bit about kind of the thinking around that. Yeah, the collaboration around that is that we are looking to support the community and look at the community as a whole. You know, Beyond Housing is about the community, but home is just not home, is the community that's involved. So the support around that is that since we will all be servicing the same children, bring them all together at one location, municipalities, you well as I know that there are 24 municipalities and all of them have decided yeah, yeah, to... St. Yeah, St. Louis. Yeah. <laughs> it's a challenge, but it's us. We're different. And so in order for us to come together as a common group, we mainly focus on on one set of children in the neighborhood. And so we are going to serve those kids and make sure that those kids get what they need to go back to school, no matter where their school may be. Right. So again, if kids go to St. Anne's Catholic School, yes. for instance, if their yes. kids go to Lutheran North, or if their kids you know, transfer out to another school district, it doesn't matter. Absolutely. Come and uh, give me the date and the time, and we'll do that several times. Absolutely. The date is Saturday, August the 15th. The time is 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Mm-hmm. And we will be at Normandy High School. Centrally located, lots of parking. uh, Lots of parking. And from when to when? We will be there from 11 to 3, and it's for the address. I want to make sure we get the address out there for those who don't know, but I, mostly everyone knows where the Normandy High School. It sits right on the corner of St. Charles Rock Road and Lucas and Hunt, 6701 St. Charles Rock Road. Let's talk a little bit about the vendors, right? So again, um, yeah, I'm ba- so excited. Backpacks are great because kids need all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And as a parent, I remember filling that backpack and seeing all the things they need. And I love when you get older, you start thinking, did I have all that stuff when I was a kid? And <laughs> I think the answer is no, but I know I had some of it. I love the box of tissue. You know, as a kid, we never had tissue in the classroom, I remember. So anyway, so yeah. there's the backpack, which are great, right? Yeah. And needed and necessary. And I want to come back to that in a little bit. But talk about the vendors and talk about who else will be there above and beyond. And again, just the basics. Yeah, see, the reason that this is so totally different is that we're going to target all our children that's in the neighborhood from birth to 18. So it's mostly what I call the cradle to career model. We will have vendors that focus on pediatric, early childhood. We will have focus daycare, finance, health, literacy, vendors to help moms with support services, things like that. So we will look at a child who is birth not born, you know, how do you massage your baby right now? We'll have things like that going on all the way up to the career when that baby is ready for high school beyond. So again, we want our listeners to know this is not just simply if you want some pencils and a ruler and that box of tissue, right? No, it's a lot more than that. It is. And so the name, like I could say it over and over again, beyond the backpack, think beyond the backpack, the things that children may need. So Vicki, maybe let's talk a little bit about, again, your experience. You spent a lot of years working at the Normandy School District before it turned into the Normandy Schools Collaborative before mm-hmm. um, you came back to Beyond Housing because you worked yes. for us many, many years ago. So talk a little bit about, you know, the children, their needs and some of the family challenges and why Beyond the Backpack is so important to ensure that our kids not only start the year successful, mm-hmm. but more importantly, they're getting the kind of support throughout the school year. Yeah, Chris, you know, it really touches my heart that a lot of work that I did in the Normandy Schools Collaborative as a homeless coordinator, I met with a numerous, a many amount of families that had plethora of levels of just disenfranchised, just things just weren't right in their lives. And one of the things that moms struggle with all the time was sending their child back to school ready on the first day of school. And Maybe that we think that's not a big deal, but it is a big deal for a family that's struggling and lives on life's margin at the time. Just to come back and say, my child can't go to school on the first day because my child don't have the supplies. My child don't have shoes. My child don't have a uniform. So they will keep kids out of school for 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 those reasons, you know, and I'll talk to them all day long when they come in and register kids like three or four weeks late. Well, mom, why did they stay out so late? 
well, I didn't have money. I didn't have the things that they needed to get back to school. And of course, a mom wants their child to be prepared just like any other child. Sure. sure. It's a great reminder that yes. I think sometimes folks take things for granted. Mm-hmm. Like, well, of course you'll have, you know, the resources to get everything to your child and ready for the first day of school. And the reality is not everybody can. And there's both the stumbling block for the mom, but it's also the child's potential the child, insecurity mm-hmm. too, right? Mm-hmm. You know, because you know, mm-hmm. you know when you don't have stuff, right? Yes. You, no one has to remind you or tell you that, right? Right. You absolutely get it right. So if we're, again, inadvertently giving the child this mindset that you're not like everybody else, mm-hmm. you don't have the things that everybody else does, it's not a good thing. It doesn't lead to a positive self sense, a sense of self-worth for the children that, that is so critically important for their absolutely. growth. Absolutely. And they start late. And when you start late, you don't do well in school if you start late. And a lot of times they have to play catch up and they're already struggling. So this is just a huge passion for me to just work with the families that are at that who need the resources. And there's plenty of resources out there. I've known that. But connecting people to those resources has been a struggle. I'm going to come back in a second. To give our listeners one more time. Give me the date, the time. Absolutely. Location. Yes. Saturday, August the 15th, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Normandy High School. And that is at 6701 St. Charles Rock Road. That is the Normandy Schools Collaborative Beyond Housing 24 Beyond the Backpack. Come join us. There is not only school supplies for your child, but an array of services that you can access. We'll have vendors there. We'll have haircuts there. We'll have a whole host of things for your child to get ready for that first day of school to keep your kids excited and ready to learn. Vicki, you mentioned this notion of access access to resources yes. and you know amazingly what we found out over our years of doing this and clearly as we've been you know kind of really digging more in and around the Normie Schools Collaborative is we're not always in need of resources to meet the challenges that our families face dilemma has been how do you connect the families who need that specific resource with the organization that has the resource talk a little more yeah. about how you as director of education for beyond housing is really thinking about and trying to put together a delivery system that helps families get to the resources they need. Yeah, I mean, you said it directly that the resources are there, the connection to connect those families to get the resources and the follow through. But it all builds around relationships. So you have to have those strong relationships with we as Beyond Housing believe in and we build those relationships with those partners. So when we have partners around the table, like we do in our five by five, we meet with them. We have over 20 or 30 partners at one time around the table talking about early childhood and where they have the one first the goal of early childhood the common goal everyone can talk about the things that they need to see to advance early childhood and also to get kids ready for school so pre-k readiness literacy we'll have someone there talking about eye exams hey i got six slots i need to come into a daycare to get your kids ready and to see if they need to have their eyes checked and you find out that some kids do need that and that is an intervention that's done early to have that child ready for school so partners in building relationships Relationships with them is critical. We do that, and that's how we connect and find the resources. So when we find the resources, we have the people. We connect them to that. We stick with everyone to make sure that follow through. Follow through is a biggie. Directories back in the day as a social worker, we give these huge directories to people, catalog. Right. Let's be honest. If you're struggling to make ends meet and you're doing the best you can, you don't have the real time and no. the emotional energy to call 20 different places and no. hope maybe and hope and maybe that might that. have the thing that you need mm-hmm. and are you eligible and it just doesn't work. So again, no. the idea here is how do we make it easy for folks to access resources? They still have to work, still have to do their part. They still got to, you know, uh, they, they have to yes. do the follow through as you yes. said. They got to do the follow through, mm-hmm. right? So mm-hmm. again, how do we make that system more usable and accessible and easy so we can quite frankly avoid something that may be modest in nature then kind of mushrooming into something much larger and yes. then that makes that getting out of that hole somewhere much harder mm-hmm. for that family. True. And so we have to empower them as well. So that follow through helps with that. But you know, it's nothing uh, so frightening that when you find the resource and you call the resource and then you find out you were too late for the resource. But see, we're at the ground roots of the resource. We hear about it like we're getting ready to send out. Real time. Real time. We have it right now. Right. Just, 
you know, and so connect me to someone right now. And then what that does, it builds a little bit of trust and confidence. A trust. Oh my gosh, yes. When you are really just thinking about how to get something done all the time, and then somebody comes with that resource and get it done, then you most likely will say, hey, this organization helped me. What can I do to help you? And that's how you build those relationships. So we're strong about building relationships. And I can't talk about that as much as I love what I do. I have to be out building those relationships. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. All right. So as we come to a close, your passion rings through about the work, Vicki, and that's what I love about you. Give our listeners one more time the name of the event, the date, the time, and if by chance they don't have any children but they want to help, is there any way that they can help either through a donation or donated supplies? Oh, yes. Needed, needed, needed. Well, Normandy Strong and Beyond Housing presents 24 and 1 Beyond the Backpack, a back-to-school event, Saturday, August the 15th, 11 a.m to 3 p.m. at Normandy High School, 6701 St. Charles Rock Road. And if someone wants to help but they don't have children and they want to give supplies or yes, make a financial give me, donation, I'm going to put my do? cell phone number out here. And Go I'm ahead. good with that. 314-757-5602. One more time. 314-757-5602. Or you can email me at vcollier at beyondhousing.org. That's V-C-O-L-L-I-E-R at beyondhousing.org. Vicki Collier, Director of Education for Beyond Housing. Thank you for all you do. Thanks to be on the show. Thank you. We're going beyond. Going Beyond is a presentation of Beyond Housing, helping entire communities become better places to live with Rare Gym Production. Proudly promoting, presenting, and producing positive programs. Neighborhood is where you live, and we want to keep it strong and vibrant. This is Chris Kramer with Beyond Housing. We are going beyond. Chris Kramer, President and CEO of Beyond Housing, located at 4156 Manchester, phone number 314-533-0600. The only organization in the St. Louis region that offers access to affordable housing. Wherever we work, our goal is to help transform people, families, and communities so that they achieve the skills, strategies, resources, and commitment to succeed for the long term. See our work at beyondhousing.org. Podcast for Going Beyond can be heard, downloaded, and shared by visiting hallelujah1600.com. Listen under the music tab on demand going beyond is another positive production of rare gem productions